Cincinnati cornerback Ahmad Sas Gardner is the type of guy that you could put on an island and not have to worry about him. He's the best cornerback in this draft class, in my opinion, and he's got the rare combination of size, length, and ball skills. He reminds me a lot of a guy I played up against at the Baltimore Ravens, Jimmy Smith, when you look at his overall size and skill set. But I imagine, based on the film that we've seen and the fact that he didn't give up a touchdown his entire college career, he will be the first cornerback taken in this draft class. Ohio State wide receiver Garrett Wilson is loaded with explosiveness and big play ability. He reminds me a lot of Devontae Smith, the former Heisman Trophy winner, as far as his size and frame and the ability to make the big play when called upon. There's no questions about his route running ability. However, he's not quite as refined as Devontae Smith was going into the NFL. Uh, maybe one thing to work on, but there's not much outside of that. He's a big-time playmaker, and he's what every offense is looking for right now to add some of that explosiveness. All right, I might be biased, but Jermaine Johnson out of Florida State is one of my favorite players and one of the fastest risers in this draft process since he finished up his year at Florida State as the ACC Defensive Player of the Year. I see a similar skill set to Max Crosby. The 6'5 defensive end, both tall, lanky, long-armed guys who can flat out get after the, the quarterback. Now, the difference, Crosby was a diamond in the rough. No one saw him coming out, fourth-round pick. Jermaine Johnson's going to go in the top 15, and it is a great thing he got out of Georgia and came to Tallahassee because he was able to absolutely dominate the offensive lines that he was playing against, and he's got that chip on his shoulder, much like Max Crosby, where I think the motor's going to run high, and he's going to want to prove to whatever team they made a great selection Jermaine Johnson might end up as the best pass rusher in this draft class, including those guys that are going to go number one and uh, number two. Iowa State running back Brees Hall is the top running back in this draft class. He's one of those guys that makes people miss. I love running backs that you never get a clean shot on, and that's what Brees Hall is. He has the ability to put his foot in the ground and go right up the field. He's elusive, he's tough, he's physical, and boy, he makes people miss. I would say he would remind me of Fred Taylor, the great one from way back in the day, but he doesn't have the same speed. So I'm going to go with Joe Mixon. Joe Mixon of the Cincinnati Bengals is another runner who came out of the Big 12 and has really become one of those guys that uh, can carry the load, can handle the ball, can carry the, catch the ball out of the backfield. And I think that's what Brees Hall is going to be on the next level. Number one running back in this draft class, you don't get good shots on him, he makes people miss, and that's always translated to success on the next level. Ohio State's Jeremy Ruckert reminds me a lot of Heath Miller, old school reference out of UVA who played for a long time for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And perhaps that comp doesn't get your attention right away, but here's the thing. Jeremy Ruckert wasn't asked to do a lot of Ohio State in the past game because they had so many great pass rushers, but that is a huge part of his arsenal. Just go watch the Clemson game from 2020. He's experienced and effective as a blocker, and while he won't be confused for Gronk in that regard, he also has the technique, athleticism, and strength to be very useful blocking in line or in space much like Heath Miller did back in the day. He flashes high end bursts off the line of scrimmage. He sw swims through traffic down the field, showing off that vertical juice. Now look, he didn't catch a lot of passes because of the Garrett Wilson, the Chris Olaves of the world, but that doesn't mean he can't do it at the next level or he won't be asked to do it at the next level. And that's gonna be a big part of his game for NFL teams who like him a lot more than the media do because of the things we just talked about here. Louisiana's Max Mitchell reminds me a lot of Greg Sanat. You watch him on tape and he has the length and athleticism that pops on film and that NFL teams covet. He also has the ability to win consistently on the edge. He gets in balance, he gets to the second level and when he locks onto his target, he excels as a combo blocker in the run game and consistently sustains those blocks. He's also patient in his pass sets, mirrors well and re-anchors against powerful edge rushers. 
While primarily a right tackle at Louisiana, Mitchell can also play left tackle, where he was flawless against the University of Texas last season when pressed into emergency service. He'll sometimes struggle on reach blocks, he'll get over his skis and lose leverage on occasion, and there are times when he's stymied at the point of attack. Adding 10 to 20 pounds could help alleviate that without sacrificing foot speed. He can also have his hands full with speed rushers, but all told, Mitchell is a solid prospect with starting ability in the NFL. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.